Hey, this is, hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Our lesson today on reciprocals. We're going to look at reciprocals, find out what they are, how they work with variables, and, and a little bit more complicated than just a lesson on what reciprocals is. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and talk about some prerequisites, things that you would need to know. You'll need to know that any number divided by itself gives you 1. So for example, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So this is going to be useful later on when you're isolating variables and doing some other things like that. So you'll need to know this, that if you want to get rid of something or cancel something out, you divide by that same number. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. Also, you can rewrite a fraction of some number over itself, like x divided by x, you can rewrite that as x times 1 over x. All right, again, something that we are definitely going to use in the future, and it relates, um, it relates somewhat to, um, to the idea of reciprocals, but definitely something you're going to need to know. All right, so here's an example. If you have 1 over negative 2, you multiply times negative 2, and then that would reduce down to being 1. So we will see this later on. Um, and it sort of it relates to, to, um, to reciprocals a little bit. So let's talk first off what is a reciprocal. A reciprocal, also called a reciprocal, um, is when you flip over a fraction. So 2 thirds would be flipped over to become 3 over 2. All right? So the reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 over 2. Now, when we we actually need to know that. Um, it's, it's really important that we know that because um, a fraction multiplied by its reciprocal is equal to 1. Um, isn't that nice to know? So 4 over 5 times 5 over 4 is equal to 1. And, and that's why you need to know. It's very important in your life. Uh, what? <laughs> All right. So although what I said is true, that doesn't really answer your question of why you'll need to know it. So. We will need to know it because you'll be multiplying by reciprocals and you'll be removing fractions from equations. That's why you'll need to know about reciprocals. And also multiplying reciprocals does equal 1, so that helps us to eliminate fractions when we're, when we're working with fractions equations. All right, so let's look again. We need to be very comfortable um, in Algebra 1. You need to be comfortable with the variable and moving it around. So to say, 2 or x divided by 2 is the same thing as x times 1 half, right, or x divided by 2. Now these two here are the, the rules that I said at the beginning, right? Something over something is the same thing as the, the numerator multiplied times that fraction, 1 over 2. Also, this one is the same as what we do when we divide, and we're going to do this in a little bit. If you have something divided by something else, that's the same as saying the first number times the reciprocal. And 2 is like writing 2 over 1, so the reciprocal is 1 over 2. And we'll look at some questions involving multiplying. You can change division questions to being multiplying by the reciprocal. You often do that when you're dealing with fractions. So let's take a look at them actually the main event, how to actually use these in some math situations and, and see what we're doing. So when you're asked to divide a fraction, you would multiply by the reciprocal. It's exactly the same thing. So here's an example where we have negative 6 divided by 1 over 7. What we're going to do is write negative 6 as a fraction, negative 6 over 1, and then it's divided by 1 over 7. What we want to do is multiply by the reciprocal. So we flip over, or we get the reciprocal of the second fraction and change it to multiplication. So now it's negative 6 over 1 times 7 over 1. And we can rewrite that. You know, something divided by 1 is just that number. So negative 6 divided by 1 is negative 6. 7 divided by 1 is 7. So that's the same as saying negative 6 times 7, which will give you a negative 42. So that's what you can do when you've got um, when you start off with a number divided by a fraction. It works the same way if you have a, a fraction divided by a number. You would also change it into a fraction over 1 and then multiply by the reciprocal. 
Now, if you get two fractions, like this, two thirds divided by five over seven, what you're going to do is, again, multiply, change it to multiplication, and get the reciprocal of this second fraction. So five over seven becomes seven over five. The reciprocal of the second fraction, three times seven is 21, two times five is 10. That's how we multiply fractions. So we get 21 over 10, or two and one over 10 as our final answer. All right, so that was a brief overview. What is a reciprocal? How do we move variables around when we have fractions? And why we use it? Largely, we use reciprocals for when we're dividing fractions because we multiply by the reciprocal. We'll also use it later on when we're isolating variables with fractions. So this is something that you will need to know for later on, and hopefully that video was helpful for you.